Hey, I'm Bukaro, back with our second tutorial for the intro video. Uh, this time we're going to be taking a look at Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, you can get this by downloading the Windows Live package. It comes with uh, Windows Live Messenger, Mail, and a few other programs with that. Uh, to get started, we're going to import your um, videos, photos, music here. You can do that by either dragging and dropping, or you can, if you already have it in here, you can't do it again anymore, but if we were to delete this, we just click, and these pop up. We're going to actually open a few of these, so I don't have to do that later. We're going to come back down, grab our intro, make sure it's up front. Now, this is a little bit different than... Um, Windows Movie Maker because you see you don't have the timeline at the bottom here you actually this whole area here is your actual timeline and they they made it a little less a little more confusing sorry a little more confusing to use than Windows Movie Maker but um if this is all you have at the time then well I'm here to help you uh first off if you click play it will play it in order as you see, um, if you actually get to the end here, a little, you see a little arrow and it'll continue in the next row. But um, if you're going to add transitions, you want to go to animations, and then you can just kind of pick a few, but make sure that you're selected on the second, second, or second clip and on, because uh, when you click it, it'll actually apply it to the beginning of that clip. So let's go ahead and down. Let's go use the this one. I like the slide. So now if we were to play the video, let's just kind of skip ahead to about here. You see it just kind of slide away and then these start. You know, the your rest of your clip starts. Um that is pretty much it for this. Now let's just say you want to add some sound. Let's see if we can add some music here. Uh, mm, that's this is a good song. We'll add, we'll add this one. Actually, we'll put this back here. Okay. Now, your song will be above, and it'll go as long as your video actually is, which is nice. So, if we were to play it from the beginning. you'd hear their intro video transition and then the song that you added now let's just say you're you're completely done with your video and you want to save it what's nice about Windows Live Movie Maker is this button right here you click it and it'll ask you to sign into your YouTube account And once you sign in, you can name your video. Uh, it's just for the sake of the conversation. Let's just go WSS Windows Live Movie Maker description tutorial uh, five tags WSS Windows Live Movie Maker uh, category. Where's education? There we go, education. Make it public. Click publish. Oops. Let's see. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was. Okay, now it's going to save your video. And then after it saves it, it'll upload it. But since I'm not finished with this, I'm going to cancel. You have other options too, such as this one. Uh, it's high definition, 1080p. Um, this one's for DVD, it's a smaller format, but if you click this little arrow here, it'll actually drop down the box and you have other options such as 720p, uh, 480p, uh, standard, uh, mobile devices, and for email. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the Sony Vegas Pro 8 tutorial and any other ones if I get requests. See you later.